I paid 14 US dollars for this power gadget. And what is it? It's a 8 ports USB total 65 watts fast charger PD type C quick charge 3.0 phone, phone adapter while charge for iPhone, for Xiaomi, for Samsung and you can choose whatever color you want yellow, black, white and it says that is very good gadget, very good power adapter, 600 plus sold, 4.5 rating. I ordered it and I got it. What? No bubbles? Oh. Here it is. Fast charger adapter. 4 USB ports, 4 PD ports, 8 in 1, quick charger, 65 watts total on all USB ports and of course I order yellow oh nice brick all right oh take a look at the ports one two three four five six seven eight eight ports four of them are USB type and four four of them are type C with one PD 25 watts. What is this? It's a protect sheet of some kind. Let's remove that. Very nice. And what it says? Wall charger. Input AC 220 volts. Output USB A1. 5 volts 3 amperes, 9 volts 2.7 amperes and 12 volts 2.1 ampere. That is good. USB-C1 5 volts 3 amperes, 9 volts 2.7 amperes. The rest of the USB ports are 4.2 amperes maximum. That is USB A2, A3, A4, C2, C3 and C4. Very well explain it. And it's heavy. And we have one USB port, quick charge 3.0, 3.0, PD charging port type C, 25 watts, that is very nice, USB C2, three of them, four of them, and these are USB A2, A3, and A4, as I said, I'll explain it right here. Time for testing. Also, I want to show you this, this. To show you this little PCB board that have Type C USB port and what it does, what does this thing? What it says? It's a PD charger trigger. With using this board or this module, you can trigger this quick charge adapter to give output voltages, output different voltages, starting from five. 9, 12, 15 and 20 volts without this module you can use 12 volts from this power adapter the maximum voltage that we, you will get is only 5 volts if you want to plug in something other than the mobile phone do you understand what I'm saying? if you want to use 12 volts from this power adapter but it's not phone for experiments for testing or whatever you need to have this kind of module which trigger the adapter to give 12 volts otherwise will give only 5 5 volts all right let me show you right here we have three switches with adjusting these switches you will get different output voltages on these points right here ground and positive let's say for 12 volts the first switch need to be 1 the second 1 and the third one 0 with adjusting these switches when you plug in the USB right here the output will be 12 volts and you can trigger the adapter to give that okay on side there is a blue LED indicator that the power adapter is working okay and do you remember this it's a 240 watts 
volt ampere meter gadget from both sides is type C and when I plug in let me hook up my phone okay. and doesn't work oh no it's not plug in okay now it shows 5 volts 1.7 amperes 1.6 and all also show the watts 8.4 watts it's a nice gadget so you can monitor your charging on the phone 4.9 volts 5 volts okay this is not PD charging let me try something else I found the correct cable okay quick charge and I'm gonna power the trigger module and measure with my multimeter the output voltage I will use my rechargeable multimeter which is pretty cool this model you can check in description below for all products the trigger the power adapter the multimeter and let's measure the voltage only 5 volts but when you switch number one we get 9 volts now and if I turn on the switch number 2 I'm gonna get 12.1 volt Woo, good let's hook up something and take a look at that using this power USB gadget 5.1 volt 5 volts and what it says it says 5 volts but I can trigger to give 9 volts it will show yes 9 volts also I can trigger it to give 12 volts now yes 12.1 volt and I'm gonna hook up a light bulb 1.7 amperes right here so we can monitor how how much power can give the adapter and this trigger okay I found a light bulb car light bulb 12 volts is pulling 1.7 amperes I'm gonna hook up right here and see it's working 10.1.4 amperes and the volt 15 watts take a look it's working great how many volts let's change it 10.6 volts little bit drop because it's too much current okay now it's set on 5 volt or 9 volts and it's pulling 1.2 amperes good 10 watts 8.4 volts good so using these two modu modules like this trigger and this power meter with it says that it's 240 watts you can experiment and they're nice to have in your workshop believe me this one is under one dollar this one is around two US dollars and the most expensive is the quick charge power adapter total 65 watts on the PD type C you can get 25 watts what does it mean if you, you use 5 volts you can get 5 amperes okay and, and if you you are using for let's say 12 volts you will get around 2 point something amperes I like it yellow I will use this thing a lot in my next videos that was all for today video presentation of the power adapter the trigger the power meter if you like it please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya good stuff